Good morning, beautiful sister. Bonjour, buenos dias, bon giorno, bon dia, zrezvuji, assalamu alaikum, shalom, nihao. I just wanted to let you know this is the website that I use when I want to recite the Quran, when I want to learn about the meaning of the Quran in English. So this is called Quran411.com. Quran411.com. And this chapter, chapter 18, is called The Cave in Arabic, Al Kahf. And it's super, super important for us Muslims to recite it, especially on Fridays. It has 110 verses. I'll show you all the way till the end. Yeah. And I'm going to recite for you in Arabic. I go here where it's called transliteration. So it's English, obviously, letters, but it's Arabic pronunciation. So that's to help you know how to pronounce it in the Arabic. But if you go here, where it says English, you click, and it's the English translation of the meaning. You see? All the way. And then if you go here, click Arabic, then you see it in the Arabic language. And of course, we Arab speaking people or Arab readers, we read from right to left, right to left, right to left. And the first one says, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, which means in the name of God, of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. So I'm going to go back to the transliteration. And let's begin. A'uzu billahi min shaitani rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Alhamdulillahi lazi anzala ala abdihi al-kitaba wa lam yaj'allahu iwaja kayyima li yunzira ba'asan shadidam min la dunhu wa yubashir al-mukh منين الذين يخملون السالي هات أن لهم أجرا حسنا ما كسين فيه أبدا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم به من علم ولا ليبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم إن يقولون إلا كذبا فلا ألك بخي نفسك على آثارهم إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث أسفا إنا جعلنا مع الأرض زينة لها لنب وهم أيهم أخسن أملا وإنا لا جائلون ما عليها سعيدا جرزا أم حسب أن حسبت أن أصحاب الكخف والركيم كانوا من آياتنا أجبا إذ أول فتية إلى الكهف وقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهي علىنا من أمرنا رشدا. Alright, so I'm not going to recite the whole chapter. I recited the first ten verses. So I'm going to tell you the meaning of what I just said in Arabic. So the meaning: In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to Allah who has sent to his servant the book and has allowed the rain no crookedness. He has made it straight and clear in order that he may warn the godless of a terrible punishment from him Allah and that he may give glad tidings to the believers who work righteous deeds that they shall have a goodly reward wherein they shall ne remain forever. Further, that he may warn those also who say, Allah God has begotten a son, a child, 
No knowledge have they of such a thing, nor had their fathers. It is a terrible, grievous thing that issues from their mouth, as a saying, what they say is nothing but falsehood. You would only maybe perchance fret yourself to death, following after them in grief, if they believe not in this message, that which is on earth we have made but as a glittering show for the earth, in order that we, the God of Abraham, we Allah, may test them, as to which of them are best in conduct, in good deeds. Verily, what is on earth we shall make, but as dust and dry soil, without growth or herbage. Or do you reflect that the companions of the cave and of the inscription were wonders among our sign? Behold, the young people betook themselves to the cave. They say, O oh, our Lord, bestow on us mercy from yourself and dispose of our affair for us in the right way. So these are the very first 10 verses of this beautiful chapter called The Cave because it's the story of um, a group of young people that feared a lot of mischief and corruption while they were living at the place where they were residing. So they decided to go inside a cave and remain there and God allowed them to stay in that cave and they stayed there and they slept for hundreds of years. I don't remember exactly, but I will find out exactly how many years. It was a miracle from God. They, they had a dog, so the dog was there, and the dog slept as well while they were sleeping in that cave for so many years, I think over 300 years. And God finally, Allah woke them up one day, and uh, one of them decided to go out of the cave and go fetch some water, some food, and uh, went ahead to the nearby uh, town with some coins so that's the story i will find out exactly on google the true story the narration and then post it on my uh, community tab so this is it i just wanted to let you know this is what i love doing reading the quran meditating just pondering over this creation over, over god and his mercy and his blessings over me and my family and just realize that this life is short indeed, and uh, one day we shall all return and go back to God. And we have to make sure that our death is a good death, and that um, when we die, we die pleasing God, our Creator, and only Savior indeed. This is what we Muslims believe. So I hope you're having an amazing day, my sister. Remember to keep counting your blessings, and remember whatever you are going through, this too shall pass. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I love you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Assalamu alaikum, that means peace be upon you, and das vidanya, which means bye-bye in Russian. Talk to you later, bye-bye sister.